Why is my big ass head blocking that beautiful ass jump shot, bro? What is going on, Wolfpack Savage here? In today's video, we're gonna be covering some random trios gameplay. Now, I love spectating randoms. Yes, most of the time it's slower gameplay, but they always do random shit that just blows our mind. But before we get into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, join the Wolfpack today, also leave a like on the video let's get this video to 1500 likes and also guys we do most of these commentary gameplays over on twitch live so if you guys are interested in checking that out make sure you follow me over there the link will be in the description below but without further ado let's go ahead and dive into the gameplay all right ladies and gentlemen here we are spectating grigsby and he just bought back his two teammates well look normally I'd, I'd be like don't do this he should have done that we just started spectating him i don't know what the hell just happened but uh man they popped off that roof like a bunch of gophers and that was it gg all right well on to the next oh it's the same squad all right this squad said you know what bro we clearly died over there i'm gonna land over here and uh just let Greeks be survive on his own which is kind of up but anyway here we have denny and schwartz who are trying to loot up TV station. Um, they should be able to get enough money, hopefully. We'll see. Now, again, I don't ever recommend looting buildings like this. It just takes way too long to loot this entire thing, and you end up double looting behind your teammates, and and you might not even find enough money. I'd rather just hit, you know, smaller buildings and hit one or two chests from building the building the building than loot this big ass TV station and get three or four maybe and have it take ten times longer to loot. Luckily, our teammate won his gulag, though, but again, guys, time is everything. I always want to implore you guys to go after kills, especially if you're just starting playing the game. Winning, of course, is always the purpose of the Battle Royale, but I want you guys to get better. That way, if you get to in-game situations, you guys can actually be somewhat confident with your gunplay, with your movement, and just your overall skill. That way, it can help you solidify the W. Doing this shit here, just why whying in a house, all weird and shit. This is not how you play the game! What are you doing? I, maybe he thinks I'm the guy he killed and he's trolling me. I'm not. I'm not the guy he killed. <laughs> this is cute. He's teabagging me. He didn't even kill me, you son of a bitch. You know, he, I would love to spectate randoms all the time and be able to get just incredible gameplay from every squad but most of the time that's just not the case this is unfortunately how most of the players play now i do read some of the comments on my youtube channel and i, I notice a lot of people out here screaming bot lobby this is easy come to my lobbies but it's weird man i, I literally i spectate games all the time and this is probably 90 percent of players so it's just real weird that 90% of players I spectate play like this, yet everybody's a freaking pro. The weirdest shit ever. But uh, lo and behold, we have Schwartz going in by himself, getting his ass wrecked. He dies. Now we have Blue going in by himself as well. He's probably going to have the same fate. And then we have our homeboy launching a cluster strike, basically wasting that son of a bitch. And now diving right into it. Because, because screw it. All right, you know where he's at, bro. Oh, weird. Weird, how'd you know? Weird! There's a guy under us as well. So, basically, this enemy team is camping three different areas. You just saw your teammate die from that building! You literally just saw your teammate get wrecked in the face from the burger shack and still... This is what I'm talking about right here. This is this is exactly what I'm talking about. All right, we're on to the next team. Anyway, um, at the last team, we should have been a lot more focused up. We should have been a lot more together than how it was. The first teammate went down because he was long gone and by himself, ran into a 1v3 and got knocked. And uh, notice when he got knocked, he never pinged an enemy. It clearly did no call outs because when our second guy went down there, he went in by himself again with no idea of where the enemies were and ended up getting clapped from Burger Town. Then lo and behold, the last teammate jumps off of the tower, floats his happy ass in the air like Mary Poppins. Luckily, thankfully, he didn't get shot out the sky. Somehow, 
um but still paid the same price because the only ping we saw was the guy hiding in the little uh storage town cubby or it's not storage town but the storage unit cubby i should say all right but anyway we moved on we just got another loadout and bowers rocking the aug and i think the ffar is a secondary but i cannot remember exactly what it was now let's let's this, okay this again bro no no what you want to do in positions like this and i get it you want money to get all this other stuff but don't worry about looting all these buildings out in the open you want to get better position also when you when you ping an enemy that's up on the higher ground you want to flank the enemy you want to come up on the side and get in a better fighting position than right here because right here we have no cover right right here we're engaged in this long range fight he's got the high ground he's got a lot more cover than us and he can easily take us out that's not even the biggest problem the biggest problem is they're out in the open 360 degrees of getting screwed up man you can get shot from here here you get third party fourth party fifth party um but luckily it's not happening but still shit like that you guys need to pay attention to when you spot a target in a good position don't piss him off because you see him try to work him try to play the enemy and out rotate the enemy get the better position make it a more even fight don't just start shooting at people because you see him all right here we have bauer popping dead silence now you have dead silence you could you might want to push closer to the enemy especially since it's a one per it's one player this should be an easy kill right here oh my god oh my god and that's off your rope yep now when you do use dead silence as dumb as the perk is when you do use it um you want to push the enemy don't don't just sit there and hold your aug out and wait for the enemy to peek you pop dead silence for a reason make sure you take advantage of it if you're going to sit here and just hold an angle with an aug don't pop your dead silence don't waste your dead silence so him delaying a little bit i mean he probably wouldn't have died regardless but him being delayed on pushing the enemy after he popped daddy his teammates could have taken that kill from him which again wouldn't be a big deal it's a team-based game but still use your perks correctly and wisely all right but again now we have five kills our teammates have god knows how many kills and we need to find a better position to rotate to or hold now if you're in a more of a holding type of player you could come up here and maybe gatekeep players coming out of quarry um it's probably a possibility you're gonna have some players come up here so that's probably what i would do if i decided to hold if you're trying to play a little bit aggressive and get a lot of kills you've got to rotate superstore and hangar area because that's where most of the kills are going to be at if you decide to play this area you'll run into a couple teams two three four teams eventually um but it will be a long drawn out fight and it will take a little bit of time for those enemies to rotate to this area if they're not already here but this isn't a bad place to fight you just got to be very careful again the separation just kills me and, and look when you when you watch the goaded of the goat players like separate split and do solo you know trios or duo quads or whatever the case is because these guys have the player knowledge to be able to pull off things like that and what we've seen from this lobby so far i just really don't think that these squads per se have the capability to go out there and slap by themselves so again you want to avoid doing this at all costs I get the fact that yes, he was able to get the flag objective and we we're already there waiting for it. I understand that. But why not just all go there together? It's on the way and then all come cap the flag together. All right. Also, right now we have a UAV. We have a sec secondary one on the ground and we have money to buy more. There's no reason not to always have a UAV in the air. You don't want to hold on to UAVs unless you're absolutely broke and you have zero money. You want to make sure that if you have a UAV, you pop that bitch. Especially since we have a shit ton of them now. And as you guys can see, we have a most wanted bounty over here in the hangar area. It doesn't look like there's anybody close to us. And I'm not really too surprised at that. I definitely think we're going to have a team come up here from Quarry area. Um, Sydney stadiums, that, that's an absolute given. But again, try to avoid that, especially since we already know where the third circle is going to be at. We can kind of base our what to do's and what not to do's off of that knowledge. And again, I hate fighting stadium, but especially if it's out of the next circle, I wouldn't even try to play with it. What are we doing? What are we doing? ADSing on a wall. I like that shit. Mm-hmm. Why, why real quick? ADS again. That bush, man. That bush, you never know. Might be a player in there. Better safe than sorry. All right, we have two enemies, three enemies, four enemies. We have two teams in front of us to the southeast, one pushing us. I definitely would have went through the middle and hold the left door, hold the left door. That's where he's at. Come on, baby. There's two now. There's about to be three enemies in here. Now, what they need to do... Gotta wish they would pause this video. 
what his teammates need to do is help us his teammates right now are literally sitting in the gas station they should have rounded the front corner held the street in this area and not allowed this guy to cross luckily O was able to get the knock um but they should have been there helping us from the get-go and now we're diving into a 1v2 situation our teammates are sitting outside letting us get knocked without even coming in and still they're sitting on the outside spamming nades Again, teamwork is all about communication. You got to have the knowledge. If you have one guy killed, another one knocked and executed, guess what? That's simple math. It's now a 3v1. If your teammate goes down, it's then a 2v1. You got to push in together. There's no reason his two teammates should have been out there just waiting. Honestly, they could have come in and saved our ass, and then they wouldn't have to worry about buying us back. But now they do need to buy us back. You can't pick up anything. You got your, you got your place. You got your gas mask. You got your ammo. You got streaks. You got dead silence. What else do you need? Let's go to the buy station. Get our homeboy back. Now, they may have faith in their homeboy, me per se, depending on the teammates that I'm playing with. I might start working my way to the buy station. That way, if he does lose his gulag, I'm already there to buy his ass back. Look at his split. And again, we have Orange sitting on the ledge sniping, just easily vulnerable to a headshot from any area. Um, use the ledges to your advantage, guys. Don't ever allow yourself to get knocked standing on top of the ledge. Especially the AUG. If you get knocked by Car98 and his teammate's right next to him with an AUG looking right at you, he's going to execute you before you can do anything. Luckily, Bauer was able to come back, and we still have that second team on the minimap to the south. One of them working his way up the building is what it looks like. I'd watch that zip line. There he is on the zip line. All lo and behold, we don't see it at all. And again, paying attention to, min paying attention to the minimap is absolutely crucial just because that was the easiest pick of his life. Guys going up, extremely vulnerable. That's a whole different team, whole different enemy. But he was just going up the zip line vulnerable and if he would have been just paying attention to his mini map that was an easy easy kill easy look at this guy laying prone on the ledge now this dude's absolutely cracked all right so now we're in a position where it's a 3v1 from what we know right um you know i don't like and i'm never a fan of sitting here holding buildings like this because again we have FU Mountain to our right hand side. We have other buildings and skyscraper to our left hand side. And we still have um people who can come up the ladder and shoot us in the back if they have dead silence or if we're just not paying attention. So you don't want to sit here and just tunnel vision and focus on buildings. When you're in a spot like this, come up with a game plan and say, A, do I want to run from this fight and hopefully fight another enemy that's easier to kill and easier to push? Or B, because we do outnumber the enemy in a because we did outnumber the enemy in a 3v1, uh, do we want to go ahead and push this enemy? Instead of going for the guy that's literally out in the open who's up, we divert our attention to the guy who's down to get the easy kill, the easy cleanup. It's, it's a little crazy. Target priority, guys. Always prioritize the enemy that can shoot and kill you. Don't worry about getting the execution. If you still have other enemies running around, he literally looked right at him with his AUG and instantly diverted to the guy crawling to safety. It ended up working out, but again, guys, a lot of, a lot of us, all of us, let's just be honest, have died so many times I'm trying to go for that third instead of focusing up on the entire fight. And again, we're in a position. We don't need anything. You guys got to start analyzing your head real quick. Do I need anything? Quick look at your shit. No, I don't. Run. There's no reason to waste this time. Because again, we still have homeboy on the rooftop. We still do need to go to the buy station and buy our teammate back. And we're just wasting too much time, man. The longer it takes for us to get to the buy station, the more opportunity enemies have to come. That should be easy kill. Come on, baby. You pulled a spare too early. Hey, we got him. I didn't think he was going to. Damn. Um, but anyway, the longer it takes for us to get to the buy station, the more opportunity enemies have to rotate to that buy station as well, especially since it's late game. You know, buy station is going to be crucial. People are going to try to get last minute buys. And especially since we're downtown, everyone's going to be rotating. I think there's probably another two, three teams left in this area at an absolute minimum. But like the guy who just jumped off the rooftop, stop holding your parachute. Make sure you jump off and pull it the last second. That way you're not an easy target because... We were able to shoot him once, miss two other bursts, and deliver another two bursts to him. So we shot him with five different bursts because of that hang time that he had. Make the enemy's job harder, not easier. And we're getting absolutely beamed from the bottom. Now, right now, Blue's on the ground level by himself. We're not providing any overwatch at all for him. We're still just kind of holding the rooftops, looking around. Um, again, dude, if you want to play the rooftop, that's fine, but you got to keep your body moving. And there's nobody up there. We can stop looking. I'm pretty sure that's the team that uh, Blue's in, a, in the middle of combat with right now. I don't hear any announcement alerts, so I don't really know if there is anybody in the air or not. 
There's a guy right there. Mark him, ping him, something. You have again, you have blue on the ground level. You want to ping these enemies when you spot them. Blue is in a position right now where he. Oh my God, weird. Weird. Holy shit! Sitting on a ledge, get sniped. No, Savage is hacking. But you, but again, you want to try to ping the enemies because blue is about to get into a fight with the most wanted bounty, and we still have a team under us that may rotate and third party him. Also, on a side note, Circle's coming in on us. We need to fly off this roof and get to the next one and get to a better spot to gatekeep the enemy. There you go, to execute. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I have a bad feeling we're gonna jump off this roof and we're gonna get sniped. There's a guy. Never mind, that was a shadow. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the Circle and what to do and what not to do. So the moment that I love, I love this game, bro. Savage, the AUG isn't broken, bro. It's balanced. He literally missed every bullet with the FFAR. Instantly whips out his AUG and, and breaks his arm with one burst. I hate this game. But regardless, look. Let's talk about circle rotation. When, when we were on the skyscraper, um, what we should have been doing was planning our getaway, right? Because we knew downtown was going to get pushed out. My ass, about five minutes ago, would have already been at this hill. Now, I didn't predict the circle would go here, but regardless, it was center of this circle, and this is a good spot to hold. Not to mention, with us running across this wide open ravine and up this hill, this late in the game, there's a huge chance we're gonna get shot in the back or from a team already on the hill. So that's why I would wanna pre-rotate this minutes ago. But of course, because the teammates were separated, they didn't really know what they were doing. They tried to gatekeep the team. They got a little bit far behind. Somehow they're able to just cross out in the open with no one shooting them from the hospital, no one shooting them from downtown. I, it is what it is. All right, now we're in a good spot, right? Now we're in a good spot. I like this area, but we need to stop sitting here just hiding. We need to start peeking these ridges. Start looking over in the hospital area because you're going to have people rotating from hospital. And lo and behold, there's another enemy rotating up the hill from train station as well. Remember, guys, there's a lot going on right now. Just because you're crouch walking doesn't mean you're invisible. You want to keep your body moving. If you're refusing to get eyes on what's closing in, you're allowing enemies to be able to push you in third party. If you guys keep getting third party by a bunch of different teams, it's usually because you're doing shit like this. And like this right here, let your one teammate fight this guy. This shouldn't be a hard fight for one guy. You need to be watching other areas. We need to be diverting our eyes to different areas. There's no reason to fight our teammates for the same kill. It makes no sense at all. Not to mention, I don't know how we're not hitting the guy in the tower. Now we have a vehicle coming up to us. We have two vehicles coming up to us. Three vehicles coming up to us. Oh my God. Is this blackout? This is probably gonna end poorly. Now we need to take advantage of this. We've got people on mini map. They're fighting each other. We need to go ahead and third party this, but Diaz is completely oblivious again, not paying attention to his minimap, has no idea where the enemies are at. Now the guys in the vehicles literally, and we're still here, we are shooting the guy in the tower. This is what I'm talking about with tunnel vision. This is it right here. Stop it. Stop getting tunnel vision. Guys, we're gonna get clapped by a third party team because we're so worried about this dude in the tower. But anyway, we should have went third party those vehicles as they hopped out to fight the other team. So now here we are. Oh my God. All right, let's just hold, let's hold it out, let's put it away, let's hide behind the tree. And this is fear. Guys, play with a little bit more confidence. You may die, you may die a lot, but eventually you will get better. Sitting here, just kind of crowd, he's trying this whole time. Hey, we're finally standing up and moving, hell yeah. All right, we're gonna rotate to my dude Bauer real quick. O's got eight kills, Bauer's rocking 11. I was spectating the wrong, the wrong player. All right, but anyway, we do not have circle favor. We do have to rotate out in the open. The team that has this hill at this point is going to be the winning team. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about it at all. Oh, weird. What team was this? Oh, yeah, the guys in the vehicle. Weird. Who would have thought? This should be easy claps right now. Look at that sliver out. Holy shit. The train coming out really kind of saved him. Because the guy we just killed had to literally like look at the train and dodge it so he didn't get run over. That was like perfect timing. But regardless, like I was saying, 
The team on this hill has the best vantage point. What we need to do right now is... Oh, he's got a four-wheeler. He needs to get on that four-wheeler and drive up there. Yeah, but here we are now. Two other teams are fighting each other at this moment in time. We need to go ahead and rotate and hopefully sneak up on the enemies. Again, the guys have the best vantage point. But unfortunately, they dropped the ball. Standing out in the open with no cover. Now, I said that the team that has this hill will win without a doubt. I should have said, as long as they don't play stupid. He was literally sitting out in the open, doing absolutely nothing but standing up. What? What do, what do we even watch anymore? Anyway, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. If you hold the high ground, make sure you have some kind of cover. Don't just sit there in the open and allow us to two burst you with an AUG. It makes no sense at all, especially with how crazy time to kill is right now in Warzone with the meta and everything. Make sure you're always near cover, and that holds more true today than ever before. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video. Let's get to 1,500 likes and subscribe to the channel today and follow me over on Facebook Gaming and Twitch to catch the gameplay live. But until next time, you have a good one and good luck in Warzone.